Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is get random point in navigable radius. So this is our node here. It allows us to use our AI navigation system and get a random point in a radius. So if we run our example, we can see in the top left, I print out where our character is going to when they move. And we can see this little yellow sphere that indicates the location where they're going to. And if we were to close this, let's go to here, we'll run, we're going to eject, and then look at our layout and pull up our navigation data. You could see the green is our navigation mesh. And you can see our character running to one of the locations. So it seems simple enough. Let's look at the node. The node takes in a vector for the origin. So in this case, I'm grabbing where our AI player is and getting something around him. That's the radius. So the radius in units, how far around them to get a point. The other two options are optional. We have a nav data. Generally, this is going to be the world navigation object. You don't really have to worry about this unless you have something special. Just leave this alone. It'll grab your default navigation data from the world. And the last one is our filter class. It's a navigation query filter. So if we have something specific we've set up, in this case, you have a few of the default ones, you can filter out your navigable area based on the filter class. Now, once it finds a point, it's going to return that back out as a vector, and it's going to return back a Boolean. True if it was correct, false if it wasn't. What does this mean? Well, there's a couple things. Let's say, for example, it finds a random point in the radius, but there's an error. It's going to return back false. So you probably want to check and make sure you have a valid location before you actually work on it. Now, there's something to note here. You've noticed while we've been running this, it doesn't seem like we have a problem. The issue is going to be actually in the fact it's a navigable radius return. So I have a few cubes here. Let me pull these up. They're a little area, basically a set of walls. And you'll notice when I redid that, it rebuilt my navigation. Now when I run this example, we're going to eject out and we're going to look at it. You'll notice our point is here or here, but our character, well, they can't get to it. However, our point that they're going to try to get to may be in an area they can't reach. That is something to note about the get random point in navigable radius node. It doesn't necessarily give you a point in an area that you can get to. It will just simply give you a point somewhere in your navigable area. And you can actually see on the top here, I have a navigable area on the top of these walls. It may even return a point that's there. So you can get back a point from this node that is completely unreachable by your current character. So keep that in mind. And that's it. That is what our get random point in navigable radius node does. Note, as of right now, there is a change in the master source code that switches this node from a pure node to a callable node. So something that's going to have an execute in and out. So if yours doesn't look quite like this or... It's changed to get random location in navigable radius. It still acts the same. It just looks a little different. 